You buy a Pixel Fold because it can do that. You buy a Pixel 8 Pro for these things. Let's see if the Pixel Fold can keep up with the Pixel 8 Pro enough to keep you from feeling that camera FOMO with your Pixel Fold. As we go through these photos, the first photo will always be the Pixel 8 Pro. The second photo will be the Pixel Fold. I'll try my best to call them out as we go through these. Bear in mind, unless I state otherwise, all of these photos are taken in auto mode. The Pixel 8 Pro does have a pro mode and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But generally speaking, pull the phone out of the pocket, open the camera, take the photo. And with this first photo, what we're gonna really quickly demonstrate is one of the biggest key differences between the Pixel Fold and the Pixel 8 Pro, and it is the level of focus fall off, the level of natural bokeh that the Pixel 8 Pro has because of the aperture of the sensor. And of course, it is just a larger sensor as well. As you can see here, we have really nice detail on this Japanese maples leaves, but we also have this really nice bokeh in the background. The Pixel Fold, they both kind of struggled on this front leaf actually. Perhaps the Pixel Fold struggled a little bit more, but the bokeh is just much less pronounced, you could say, on the Pixel Fold. It does also have a bit of a more over sharpened look in some of these areas, and perhaps a more HDR higher contrast look, although that could be just due to the additional bokeh. We're gonna jump to a similar test I did with the 8 Pro and the S23 Ultra where we go through each lens here. So this is the Pixel 8 Pro. And just like with the S23 video, I think it does a really good job. The colors are very natural. The sky looks like a sky. If we zoom in here, we don't see any of that weird HDR haloing thing we used to see on phones. Not really seeing that on any of this stuff. The sky was always such a good place to kind of pull that out. Decent detail, decent color representation. Ultra wide is a solid camera. Let's go to the Pixel Fold. It is not as ultra wide. It is a more narrow FOV, but the color science, I mean, look, they look really similar. You could trick someone to think, and this was taken on the same camera, perhaps just a different lens. The colors are really, really similar. Perhaps a little bit more noise here in the darker areas than we had on the 8 Pro, but very similar, it's not as wide. On the primary sensor, again, this is the Pixel 8 Pro. The colors look slightly more saturated to me. This is probably getting closer to natural. Keep in mind, this was taken early morning. And of course, that causes a bit more of a warmer tone in reality. So I think that this actually looks really nice. This tree in particular really kind of illustrates that warmer tone, the morning golden hour, if you will, that we were kind of experiencing when I took this photo. Very pleasant, not a whole lot of noise in the darker areas. If we go to the Pixel Fold, again, they look really, really similar until you start to zoom in, and then maybe you can see a slight difference in detail, but to be honest, it's really not a whole lot. The barn does look slightly less saturated on the Pixel Fold. Let's look at the details on this light. Look at the individual LEDs. So let's go back to the 8 Pro. Do we have any additional detail here? A little bit, okay, a little bit. So that's kind of the key difference is that the 8 Pro has maybe a little bit more saturation in some of these colors and a little bit more detail. This is a 2X digital zoom. We won't spend too much time on these. We'll kind of zoom in and let you see the detail, but we need to kind of hurry through because we have a lot of pictures. Detail's fine, it's okay, it's nothing incredible, but again, it's a digital zoom. On the Pixel Fold, it looks really similar. Maybe a little bit less detail in this area. If we zoom in, really, really similar to the Pixel 8 Pro in that regard as well. Now this is the 5X optical zoom, and I think that this looks really quite strong for the 8 Pro, individual bits of this tree's leaves are very, very visible. The lamp looks very clean as well. Colors are very natural on the Pixel Fold. It's similar, but it's definitely less detailed. No question, it is a little bit more of that, you know, oil painting effect going on. Not quite as detailed. I think that they both look good, but definitely the Pixel 8 Pro has the more detailed telephoto lens. If we punch it up to 20x, you can definitely see still some really good detail here on the 8 Pro. Pixel Fold starts to fall apart a bit more. And of course, the 8 Pro can go all the way up to 30x, whereas the Fold maxes out at 20. If we move indoors here, you're gonna see a couple more of these differences kind of begin to shine. With the Pixel 8 Pro, this is a bright 
accurate photo, not a whole lot of noise in the frame. You can see how the focus falls off quite naturally with the Pixel Fold. A lot of that is true, but look how much deeper this thing, one, maintains focus, but two, look how much more noise there is in the frame. When lighting is not quite perfect, the Pixel 8 Pro really stands out as just having a much more consistent look, less noise, and for me, I've just got to love that shallow depth of field that you're just not getting anywhere near the same of with the Pixel Fold's smaller sensor. Another shot here kind of demonstrates the difference in the color science occasionally. We'll zoom in here and look at some of the detail in the writing inside this guitar. A little bit of noise here in the shadow. You can make out some of that potentially. If we go to the Pixel Fold, let's zoom in. Very, very similar, right? Not a whole lot of difference there, but look at the colors. Look at the difference in the way that these two things are reproducing the colors. This to me looks much cooler than this shot does. The blue looks much more blue. And the Pixel 8 is more accurate in this regard. This is kind of punching up that coolness a bit too far. Both handle the HDR or the dynamic range of this lamp quite well. Slight differences, but nothing too crazy there. Just a much cooler look for the Pixel Fold. <laughs> And of course the Pixel 8 Pro does have an additional capability that the Fold does not. It can switch to a macro mode and you can see that in action here. You can get up very, very close to an object and stay in focus. Although to me, I would advise people that really want to dig in and get the best possible photos, disable that macro mode. And if you want to take a macro photo, go to your Pro mode, zoom into 2X Digital and do a manual focus and you can get a shot like this that to me is just head and shoulders better than this. The colors are more accurate now and you get that larger sensor, you get the larger aperture, you get the focus falling off. It looks tremendous. The Pixel Fold, of course, you can try to pinch to zoom into 2X and tap to focus and you can get something that approximates it. It's very, very similar. So to me, the lack of a macro mode, I at first I thought that was gonna bother me, but now I've gotten used to just doing this, and to me, this looks better anyways. So now let's take a look at some selfie shots with the portrait mode. This is the selfie, the front-facing camera on the Pixel 8 Pro. As usual, hair is going to be difficult, but I think this thing takes a perfectly fine selfie portrait shot. Detail looks good. Pixel Fold, it looks very, very similar. Again, you could trick someone into thinking this was taken with the exact same phone. If you switch around and use the primary sensor with the Pixel 8 Pro, of course, it is slightly more difficult because you can't really see what you're framing. You could maybe use your Pixel Watch for something like that, but it does still look good. Hairs may be slightly better, really nice detail. Colors are very natural. With the Pixel Fold, you can use the cover display to frame things up, making it a little bit easier. I would say I look a little bit more yellow here than I probably ought to. This is probably more natural, slightly more yellow. Not really sure what happened there, but overall the photos both look pretty good. Hair sucks on both of them. Details solid. You can kind of make your own judgment there between the Pixel 8 Pro and the Pixel Fold. Now, when it comes to taking portraits of non-human subjects, the Pixel 8 Pro does a really solid job. It's going to do a good job kind of isolating the object and getting that focus fall off. Detail looks good. For some reason, my Pixel Fold, and I've covered this in another video, just does really weird things. The left side basically towards the top of the device, depending on how you're holding it, always ends up being blurry and the other side ends up being in focus. And I don't know what that is. I've not been able to confirm if other people are having the same issue. When it sees a face, it's fine. But when it doesn't see a face or when it's a little bit further away, it does really weird things. I've got a whole video talking about that, which I will link below. I don't often cover selfie video, but we'll do that here for this. Walking directly into the sun, very bright. Which one of them is handling? that type of thing better let me know moving into the shadows now stability uh voice clarity all of these things what do you think so we're now filming with 4k 30 fps on both devices 
Let me know what you think about the color reproduction here, the stability. Both of these do have speech enhancement turned on, as I believe that was the default setting on both. So let me know how that sounds to you as well. Pay attention to that stability too, because the pixels are kind of known for their stability. Does one stand out over the other as we walk around filming here in the old backyard? I think that they both look pretty good. Let me know what you think. Now the Pixel 8 Pro also has access to a video feature called Blur, which is basically portrait mode for video, and the Pixel Fold does not have access to this. If we look at low light, and yes, this was actually in low light these days, it can be very difficult to tell. The Pixel 8 Pro does a pretty darn good job. There's a relatively low amount of noise. It manages to focus pretty well. Also, the Pixel Fold, Kind of messed up on the focus a little bit, which is easy to do in lower light situations, but still not a whole lot of noise, just more difficult to focus, more inconsistent. And that's what you're going to get between these two. The Pixel 8 Pro, again, this is low light, believe it or not. You can tell that that lamp is actually turned off. The Pixel 8 Pro is just going to be a little bit more consistent than what you see here with the Pixel Fold. Sometimes, they're going to look almost identical, but the pixel fold will occasionally miss. And if you go into extreme low light, you can see much more detail resolved on this bath towel. Yes, I went into the bathroom to create extreme low light versus on the pixel fold. So if low light is your concern, Pixel Light Pro definitely is going to do a better job. The darker it gets, the more true that's going to be. So real quick, I want to kind of demo some of the different editing capabilities that both of these devices have because they share some similarities and they also have some things that one is better at than the other. Let's go into the Magic Eraser and we're going to try to erase uh, rows here on both and we'll see which one does a better job. Let's zoom in. We have a, a leash going to nothing. And you can see it looks okay. It's a little bit smudged, but it looks okay. Here on the Pixel 8 Pro, it did kind of do a little bit of a different thing. I think that the 8 Pro is probably a little bit more convincing. It has less of a smudged look. It can actually do more though. Let's jump into the Magic Editor because this is where the Pixel 8 Pro really sort of pulls ahead. We can tap like that. You even grab some of the leash. And what we can do is let's take Rose and let's move her over here and let's make her bigger for, I don't know, for whatever reason. And when we hit that arrow, it's gonna use generative AI to fill in that gap that we just left behind by moving her. And we'll zoom in and we'll take a look at that and see how that compares to Magic Eraser. It's already better here, but with Magic Editor, it should be a lot better than even that. And you can see it's actually using AI to generate like plants even leaves, plants, and it looks much, much better than it's going to look here where it's just going to be sort of a smudge. It's not bad here, right? It's not bad, but it's better on the Pixel 8 Pro with Magic Editor. Now, Magic Editor may make its way to the Pixel Fold. This is being done in the cloud. No reason it can't run on the Pixel Fold, but for now, it's only going to be here. So there's a lot to think about there. In terms of just point and click photography, I think the Pixel Fold does a relatively good job. However, I do find myself missing the larger sensor and that focus fall off. I also do like the color science on the 8 Pro a little bit better. It's a little bit more saturated in my experience some of the time. I just think that that detail and those colors, it does look a little bit better. With portrait photography, the Pixel Fold is just way too inconsistent for me and a little bit too noisy at times as well. Portrait mode, big, big win for the Pixel 8 Pro. Zoom is also going to be improved on the Pixel 8 Pro. As you saw, it's just got more detail in there with that higher resolution sensor on the same 5X zoom. They're just not the same at the end of the day. The same is true for a video. The Pixel 8 Pro should look a little bit cleaner. Hopefully that came through uh, with YouTube's processing and so forth. But I'll tell you, phone to phone, when I look at them, the Pixel 8 Pro video does indeed look more detailed and it does handle different lighting better as well. And speaking of lighting, low light is also a big win for the Pixel 8 Pro. Across the board, the 8 Pro is the better camera setup. I would say if the 8 Pro is a 10, the Pixel Fold's like a 7, something like that. Like that's about how far apart they are. And it tends to be in the sort of extremes, in the niche cases, in the places where the Pixel Fold becomes a little bit inconsistent. The Pixel 8 Pro tends to stay pretty much rock solid. And then you add in the AI features like Magic Editor, 
and that really puts it over the top for me. Can I happily use the Pixel Fold camera? Absolutely. Am I going to tell you that it's as good as the Pixel 8 Pro or that it's even really all that close in those sort of edge cases? No, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that either. The Pixel 8 Pro, if, if the camera is what you're after, if that's the biggest thing, go with the Pixel 8 Pro. However, the Pixel Fold, I do believe still, is good enough paired with the fact that it's a foldable for people like me to be more than happy. But again, hopefully this is good information for you to make your own decision on that. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy. Bye.